Hi all. In this video we will describe the first steps needed to migrate a Siebel repository in IP 2017. First we will disable the workspace in the source and target environments. Then we will export the repository and schema from the source environment. After that we will enable the workspace in the source environment. Then we will stop the gateway service and the Siebel server. In CDA we have created a new application for full repository migration. Let's open it. We see the components, workflows, profiles, packages and some deployment targets. Let's open the application workflow in the workflow editor. This workflow contains all the necessary steps to achieve a full repository migration in Siebel IP 2017. I will open the last monitor of this workflow to see what happened the last time the workflow was executed. The first two actions disable the workspace in the source and target environments so that no development is executed there. Once the workspace has been disabled in the source environment, two different workflows run in parallel to export the repository and the schema. Let's open the workflows. We first export the repository. I'll open the report to get more details. The file paths point to the repository data and log files, which is the output of this action. Next, we want to create a new folder structure to store the files and zip them. If we open the report, we see that in the last execution, the repo zip folder was created, which contains the DAT and log files. Then the folder was zipped, so that it could be copied to the target Siebel environment. Finally, the zip file was copied to the target Siebel environment. If we open the report, we see the source and target paths. The same steps have been followed for the schema export. The schema was exported, a new directory containing the files was created, zipped, and then copied to the target environment. Once this is done, we can enable the workspace in the source environment. Next, we will move to the target environment. First, we need to stop the services of the Siebel system. Again, if we open the report of a previous execution, we can see that the parameter contains the list of Siebel server system services. The execution started and the services were stopped one after the other. With that, the Siebel server was down. Then the Siebel Gateway services must be stopped as well. We can see in the report that the action was performed. Don't miss the follow-up video with the final steps.